Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page. And today we're here to talk about mobile ATMs and some of the lessons that I've learned over the years. Okay, one of the first things we did as an ATM mobile provider is we just took an ATM off the route or one that was extra and we placed it in the field or at the event. Now, um, because it might have rained or the weather, it, it, the ATM didn't get damaged, but the ATM didn't get used. So then we had to take it out of the field and put it in a garage. Um, so what we did is we discovered these kiosks many years ago. These kiosks right here, anywhere you can get one from about 12 to about two grand per kiosk, they light up and they protect it from the elements. They protect it from all the wind and the rain. Uh, and so this is just, and if it, when, they're, when it's not raining, all you can do is just put this up like this and the people can still use the ATM, and if it rains, then the, these have come down. We also, what we did is one of the things that really stood out is, instead of using the older ATMs, we, every year we would buy brand new, not all show song ATMs. Um, some, sometimes we buy two Ks, sometimes we just buy one Ks, but it just depends on the event. We always usually buy um, half two Ks and half one Ks. Brand new in the beginning of the season, and therefore, there's, there's no issues. And then what we'll do is we'll put those on, on our route at the end of the season. And then the next season, we'll buy brand new ones again. Because the, one of the things you don't want to do when you run a mobile event is have the ATM go down. And so I do see a lot of other mobile providers, guys who do events for companies, they'll put out an, an older ATM. But what happens is if the ATM goes down in the event, you are in trouble. There's usually long lines, they don't have a cash solution, the ATM is the cash solution, and you have to fix it on a property or get an ATM in there fast. And that causes a headache, not only for you, but the event. So the best thing to do is always start with a brand new one, and it eliminates any kind of challenges that you'll, you'll have. So one of the other things you wanna do is make sure that your ATM is wired properly and is always able to have signal. If you don't have signal, you don't have any ATM transactions in the event doesn't make you any money. So what we did is we came up with uh, a wireless device that has two antennas and is, is doesn't operate on the same frequency as, as your cell phone because when you're at an event, five to 50,000 people, everybody's on their cell phone. And what that does is it creates drag for your event and you're fighting with the other 20,000 people. We And we also, what we did is we also put two antennas on each uh, kiosk or the ATM, depending where it is, so that allows the traffic to go through. That's not fighting everybody's cell phone. We also try to bring out uh, flags. We have flags for the events. Um, you can buy a flag for somewhere between two and three hundred dollars. It'll say ATM. It's also good because it, you could it, people could see where the ATMs are located. In the event. All right, flow of traffic. In the event, it's very important. You want to figure out where the main exit point is to the event. Most of the time, it's in one spot. Sometimes it's all over. But what you want to do is you want to figure out where the ticket booth is. Do they have to buy tickets to get into the event, or do they have to buy uh, tickets for the beer? Um, if any of those questions is yes, that's where you want to put your ATM. Also, position in the sun is very important. A lot of times, you put the ATM uh, in, in a spot, and you're there early in the morning. And then what happens is the sun comes up and it beats on your ATM and you can't see the screen. Sometimes the sun's so hot in an event, if you don't have, if it's not under a tent, that it, it'll, it doesn't necessarily fry the screen, but it'll make it so hot where the screen will blank out during the course of the event. If you want to avoid those service calls and avoid those issues, you'll either want to place it under a tent or in a kiosk that is not facing the sun for the most, most of the day. Most of the events are at night, but some of them they do start at 11 o'clock, 11.30, 12 o'clock, height of the day, and the sun is in their way, so they, the customer can't see the screen. So that's very important. You want to calculate that when you set up your mobile event. Hope these tips are helpful. Again, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page. You can always uh, like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.